Hey, what's up everyone? This is Music Tech Help Guy. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to remove digital pops and clicks in audio recordings in Logic Pro. Now by digital pops and clicks, I mean pops and clicks that are a result of a sampling error or some sort of conversion some sort of digital error, right? I'm not talking about plosives or other types of noise. Let me give you an example of what this sounds like. I want to feel your heartbeat. You hear that little pop right there? Your heartbeat. Let's just solo that track. Your heartbeat. Your heartbeat. So you can actually fix this in Logic without using any plugins whatsoever. So what I'm going to do to start here is I'm just going to use my marquee tool, drag over this, and then click on it to separate it. And this step is actually unnecessary. I just like to do it um, so I can set a cycle range around it. Then double click on it to open it up in the editor. It'll probably go to the track editor by default. You want to go to the file editor, and then you want to locate that pop or click in the file editor. So here it is. Let's go ahead and zoom in a bit more so it can really get in just on that one pop or click. So there it is. The way I prefer to deal with these is just go to your pencil tool here and then use your pencil tool to draw in a new waveform. And what that will do is just for that one little spot, we've manually drawn in the waveform and corrected those samples. Because this type of noise, like the popper click is only gonna be like a, maybe a few samples in width. It's not gonna be like a plosive where you need to filter out the low end and do all this other stuff to it. And then let's hear all of the vocals again. I wanna feel your heartbeat. And the click is gone. 